In the last two lectures, we learned about subjects in great detail. We learned what is a subject, how it is different from an observable, and how we can use a subject for cross-component communication. Now in this lecture, we are going to talk about behavior subject and how it is different from normal subject. A behavior subject is basically a subject which can hold an initial value and it emits that initial value when there is no new value to emit for a subscriber. Basically, a behavior subject will emit an initial value or the last emitted value for a new subscriber. Let's try to understand this practically. So here I will comment these line of codes from our previous lecture and here we were creating a new subject. So what I will do is I will uncomment this code. Okay, so here we are creating a subject. Then for that subject, we have two subscribers. Okay, and from that subject, we are emitting a random number. But now instead of emitting a random number, let's emit some value, let's say 2020. Okay, so here we are emitting a hard coded value 2020. Now, here this 2020 will be emitted and it will be passed to the subscriber 1 and subscriber 2. But if I don't emit this value by using this next method, so if I comment this line, in that case, we have created the subject and for that subject, we have two subscribers. But that subject is not emitting any value. In that case, these two subscribers are not going to get any value, right? Unless this subject emits a new value. So if you save the changes and if you go back to the web page, in the console, you will not see any data logged. And let's say, when we have subscribers, at that time, we want to have some initial value which we want to pass to all the subscribers. For example, let's say, when we have subscribers and the subject is not emitting any value, let's say I want to emit a value maybe 100. Now, I cannot do that using subject because to this subject, we cannot specify any initial value. But we can do that using behavior subject. So here, instead of using subject, let me remove this from here and let me copy this line. So now we are going to create a new subject, but this subject will be a behavior subject. Okay, so we want to make this subject a behavior subject. For that, instead of calling the constructor of subject class, we need to call the constructor of behavior subject class. And in order to use this behavior subject class, we also need to import it from RxJS library. So this behavior subject, it has been imported from RxJS library. Now to this behavior subject, we can pass an initial value, which it will emit as soon as it has a subscriber. So for example, let's say we want to emit this value 100. Now here, let's also specify the type. So the type here is going to be number because from this behavior subject, we want to emit a numeric value. And here we have an error. That's because we have a spelling mistake. So it should be behavior subject. Here we have two subject. All right. Let's save the changes now. So now this subject, it is a behavior subject. And even though this subject is currently not emitting any value, since we have specified a initial value for this behavior subject, that initial value will be emitted as soon as this subject has a subscriber. Currently, it has two subscribers. So both these subscribers are going to receive this value. Okay, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And there you will see 100 is locked two times. So both of these subscribers, they are receiving this value 100 and that is being logged. And after this, if we want, we can also emit a new value. For example, let's say we are emitting this value 2020. So first, this subscriber will receive this value 100. And after that, since this subject has emitted a new value, these two subscribers will also receive this value 2020. So if we save the changes now, and if we go back to the web page, you see, first, both of them are logging 100 because both of them will receive that initial value 100. And after that, since this behavior subject has emitted a new value, that value will also be passed to this callback function to this data parameter of both the subscribers. And then that value is being logged. So the difference between behavior subject and a subject is that using behavior subject, we can specify some initial value. Another thing to note here is that here we are specifying an initial value for the behavior subject. 
and after that we have two subscribers so both the subscriber will receive that initial value first and after that we have emitted a new value 2020 so this value will be emitted and these two subscriber will also receive that value 2020 and after we have emitted this value 2020 let's say we have one more subscriber so i'll copy this line and let me paste it here and this is our subscriber 3 now we have subscribed to this behavior subject after it has emitted this value 2020 so for this subscriber the initial value will be the last emitted value okay so this subscriber here it will not receive the initial value 100 instead it will receive the initial value as 2020 for this subscriber the initial value will be the last emitted value in this case this 2020 so if i save the changes and if we go to the web page you see 100 is being logged two times and then 2020 is being logged two times and after that we have this 2020 again logged so for the third subscriber for this subscriber the initial value is not 100 for this third subscriber the initial value is the last emitted value of that behavior subject i hope this point is clear and after that if we emit a new value by calling the next method so again let me copy this line and let me paste it here and let's say this time we are going to emit 2023 and in order to make some difference what i will also do is i'll add some string so here i will say subscriber one and let me copy this and let's do the same thing for other subscribers as well here the subscriber will be subscriber two and here the subscriber will be subscriber three let's save the changes let's go to the web page so for the subscriber one the initial value is 100 for the subscriber two also the initial value is 100 and then the subscriber one is receiving this value 2020 subscriber two is receiving this value 2020 then we have subscriber three and for the subscriber three the initial value is 2020 the last emitted value and after that we are again emitting a new value 2023 so this 2023 will be passed to all the three subscribers so here subscriber 1 is receiving this value 2023 subscriber 2 is also receiving the value 2023 and subscriber 3 is also receiving this value 2023 so i hope with this example the difference between a subject and a behavior subject is clear to you using a behavior subject we can specify an initial value for a subject and this initial value will be passed to all the subscribers which has subscribed before a new value has been emitted by the behavior subject but for those subscribers who has subscribed after a value has been emitted by the behavior subject for those subscribers the initial value will be the last emitted value of that behavior subject i hope this point is clear so this is all i wanted to cover in this lecture in this lecture i wanted to cover this behavior subject which is very important and which is extensively used in rxjs and angular this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day